<laughs> People looking at me. Good day! <laughs> Good day! Hello! <laughs> and welcome to today's vlog. Whew. This is going to be a really difficult vlog. I've got off to a non-starter already and it's really a recap on um, yesterday's vlog because obviously when I go out to make a vlog I get really disappointed when I cannot make it. So yesterday's vlog of me smoking different types of marijuana and getting stoned totally legal in a calf and telling you guys how funky everything was uh, didn't happen but I haven't given up <laughs> I have come out to today I'm at Patong but if you're gonna find something wrong then you're gonna find it in Patong and there I've just been into the plod shop and he won't talk to me on camera I'm like oh, such a grey area still and I haven't I know there's other YouTube vloggers have made vlogs and there's vlogs in the process but I have not found anybody who want to talk to me about the current marijuana situation here in Thailand and also come on camera about it even the chief of the plod in Patong, no, none of them will come on the camera. None of them, I've just been there and asked them. Obviously, weren't able to film it. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would be fucking really funny. So it ain't happened, right? I'm coming along the road, before I spoke to plod, I spoke to a guy selling stuff. I said, no, I don't want none of that rubbish. I want marijuana. He's like, I have. I was like, okay, can I film you? Uh, uh, selling me some. Oh, no, 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 cannot, cannot. Um, but I have good buds, so even <laughs> even the matey selling fucking wooden carvings down the road will sell you marijuana. But whether or not I'm going to find somewhere, they'll talk on camera. I don't know. I'm really I'm really keen to get somewhere <laughs> and and uh, make this vlog. So I thought, well, the best place to come has got to be Patong, in it down Bangla Road. I'm just driving around in the hope that I can find somewhere that'll open up to me and then I can get wasted on camera for you guys. I'm gonna be fucking keys. I'm not again. Oh no, I've got them, they're in my pocket. I've also been making up a poem about weed. I have. I do a lot, a lot, a lot, I do la 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 la. Fuck did I just say? I've got to start again. I'll have to read that bit out, man. I'm like, right. Anyway, so yeah, I started writing poetry. My poem is, where is my big bag of weed? That's, that's it, that's it. I've got to make the rest up. That's, that's all, that's as far as I've got. I lost my bag of weed. There you go, that's it. And then uh, I'll... Let's hope I find a shop pretty soon. Right, I've just got to ride down here really slow, so hang on guys, I'm sure I'll find someone or something to talk to me on Bangla Road. Must be able to. It is still early, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock, so things should just start opening up. Could not find, hang on, where is that sun? Is that better? Okay, could not find any, anywhere, other than <laughs> the dodgy guy on the beach road to sell me any weed or film it but as I went down Bangla Road uh, I did have an interesting conversation with the tattooist on the left hand side cool Aussie guy big guy he's often sat outside his tattoo shop as you go down Bangla Road he's there within the first five or six meters on the left always busy very good tattoo shop by the way it's uh, highly recommended but he told me the reason there's probably no marijuana bars and the reason why all the Rasta and Bob Marley bars are out on streets like this is because the, the rents are too high. Obviously Bangla Road and around uh, Batong is, is really prime real estate. So as you come out of Batong and you start climbing this road towards Caron, you do and will see a whole line <laughs> of reggae bars. Wonderfully coloured. And there's a few, hang on, just waiting on the traffic. There's a few down there. I'll try and see if we can get somebody to entertain us. I mean, look at that. It's 
fucking Reggie, isn't it, boy? Look at that. That's proper Reggie. Reggie V. I don't think there's anyone in there. <laughs> but whilst I'm also on the case, one of the other things, now I think that's really cool. You've got all these Reggie bars, you've got motorbike bars. But as you'll always see on the side of Thailand, you can buy Molotovs. Look. Two different brands, 93 and 95 Molotovs. Just add a bit of cloth and away you go. They're there, right on the side of the road. Big business, Molotovs in Thailand. <laughs> now this one, all right, there's someone here. I can hear them. I can hear the music. Sweaty cap, hello. Do you mind being on camera? Do you mind being on camera? You on camera? No, don't want. Tough, isn't it? Trying to get somewhere. This is a proper Bob Marley looking place, look. Oh, look, look at the stairs, the stairway. I'm going in, I'm going on the stairway to heaven. Young lady? Wow, hello? Do, do you, do you, do you, <laughs> do you sell marijuana? Do you sell? Is it is it legal? Can can turn music down? Can turn down? Okay. Is 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 marijuana legal in Thailand? Only for medical. Okay. So if if okay, cup on cap. Same. Okay. Thank you. A very grey area indeed, right? A very grey area indeed, currently. I believe that lady would know. Everyone's going mad for medical. I think this uh, art shop is quite cool. So, that is a really cool shop on this street this this vlog could be a long one you know i'm not like i say i'm the tool i can get I, I, I was with richard yesterday at maribel's coffee card and he's looking at stuff he's seen it online and and it does actually read that if that's no i was smelling i was smelling marijuana everywhere so i think everybody i don't know so uh, anyway, he was convinced what he showed me he did read that, yeah, you can actually buy it, smoke it, it can be sold. Just don't annoy anybody with its horrible smell, apparently. Now this one, next to the big black cock, bad boy club, I think that's what that is, is this one. This looks proper. It's got a little shop in there. Dog, you all right, mate? Are you going to smell me hand? You're not going to eat it? Great, happy dog. It's always a bit risky, but you just got to, you know, see how they are. This guy's got Molotovs on the go, look. He's sold out. He's got a nice looking shop with spelling cool jewellery. He's got Lenny Kravitz, I think. Is that Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> What's up, mate? Where's your boss? What do you care? Wicked spot. Really wicked, well decorated. <laughs> this guy obviously sells the marijuana, I guess. But it is, I'm loving what he's done with the skulls. Is he in here? Sweaty cap. Hello. <laughs> is anybody in here? Hello. Hello! Is anyone at home? Oh man, I don't think anyone's in there. But what a pad! Sneaking about someone's pad. Ah oh, man, weird fish. Weird fish. Rasta fair. Look at this old truck. Oh man. Bar. <laughs> Bob Marley. 
and he's out the back. <laughs> Hopefully not with a shotgun. There's no one here. There's no one here. Set two friendly doors. <laughs> so what a mission. No one here. This is the most fucking Rastafari bad I've ever seen. There's no, no one here. It's going to be today, it's going to be a tough day in the office. Right, let's go, let's just continue this journey to find a weed bar. Sidetracked, currently in Qatar. Yes, I am Qatar. <laughs> And I've seen this place, right? I think, oh, look at that. That looks, that looks a bit special in there. That looks <laughs> out of this world. And why is it doing here? Look at it. But I saw the sign. I saw that sign. So I thought, oh, that's okay. I'll go and enter on this way and act like I didn't see the sign. But then I saw that sign. <laughs> but I really wanted to go in there. So you know what to do. Look at the walls. Look at this place. Right, let's go and ask. There's a little door up here. This just place just took my eye out. Very easily distracted. But these old pots on these podiums and all these little mirror mosaics. Look at it. It is fantastic. I was like, yeah, pretty taken by it. And so much so, there's a little doorway in here. Where are they gone? Not that one, this one. So I actually asked if I could do a little bit of film in here. And these guys, look what they're making. I'm coming in. I hope there's enough light. Look at this intricate artwork. I've already done his legs. They, these are gonna stand outside when finished. Finish, you put in front of the spa. Oh, in front of the spa, yes. the bar. The bar. Spa. The spa, you have a spa? Yes. Wow, look at it. This place is going to be really. Um, look at that floor. It's, it's okay. That is. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at it. Oh, mate. That is some piece of artwork, that is. And the elephants, everything in it, that's just. Mate, this is, this is next level stuff. We, when, when do you plan to be open? October. This October? Yes. Wow, and, and this is a restaurant and hotel and, and spa as well, resort. But what is the name again? The name? Swadi Village. The Swadi Village in yes. Qatar. Yes. Okay, look, look for what this place is going to look like when it opens in October. And can I have just have a, a little look just in here? Yeah. It's okay? Just about here, yes. I don't want to show too much because obviously this is going to be a spectacular op opening, but it's jaw dropping. Look, look at this. Well, I, I feel privileged that they let me in and just have a little look because the amount of work and what's going on through there and up here spectacular absolutely something a little bit special so if you youtubers are heading this way in october yes. then come and see this guy and maybe he'll let you make a full vlog yeah i will take you you, you will okay he's gonna walk me through oh man how cool how cool oh and this will have water right yes the spa. The spa. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh man, this this. <laughs> Couple caps, what do you cap? It's beautiful, beautiful. And the artwork everywhere. Oh man, so much detail. Did this must have been in your family right for a long time this hotel yes. it is family oh, i couldn't tell man wow how how old 
How old is the hotel? Okay. But this is many years old. Twenty-two. Awesome. Awesome. So you you closed before uh, when lockdown came, I, I yes. guess. Yes. Oh man, that's just stunning. The little look at the little pots of grass just just growing out of these little bit. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it is something else. It really is. Everywhere you look, these are the grounds, and ah, oh, these would be the rooms you rent. Yes. Okay. Well, so you get to stay in these cool little rooms in this really, what did you say, uh, compound, this beautiful area, which I can imagine when it's all open and the water bubbling with fish. Oh, mate, there'd be an atmosphere here just just being here. Very impressive stuff. And these rooms. Oh, man. Your main clientele would be Chinese before or uh, English? Thai. Thai people come. Yeah. Be because but it's Thai, Thai tradition. Uh, Thai from, from England, Chinese. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Really good. Everything about it. Oh, the, the, the garden, this is tremendous. Can you imagine how I'd been if I'd, have, if I'd have managed to finish the task what I set out to this morning already and walking uh, about here. The reception, here. reception area. Everything about it. Well, I would, I would definitely want to come and, oh wow. Everything, it, it's, mate, everything is just beautiful on the eye. It, it, the coordination of it is it, it's brilliant. It's really good. There's nothing to... Oh, what is it? I say isn't everything to distract the eye. <laughs> Look. This is the swimming swimming pool with a bar. <laughs> How cool. This has to be one of the most unique resorts on the Isle of Phuket. Absolutely brilliant. It's so impressive everything again all the detail on here this would have took one or two members a week maybe or a few days to do this all done by hand right yes the by same, hand by the same yes. as you're doing now and the hotel staff and the hotel staff does yes. this that's really cool and that that is the reception let me just zoom on that sign so you know exactly what to check out on the internet the Sawadi village in Qatar. Oh, that's a big bonus. Oh, look at it, it goes all around. So it's inside our villa in Cabana Street. Okie And this is all beautiful sandstone. The tiles, yes. And granite sets. That, that, that's really good. <laughs> oh man, everything about it every little detail uh, oh and these are the villas to stay in yes. here wow so this is this is where the the rich upper class people would stay in the villas with families i take it big yeah ah uh, oh man everything huh. can i uh, uh, look look just look in here look these little steps oh this is this is a villa Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> up bar. Yes, so you can swim all the way up there. Oh, that's proper paradise. Real paradise. It really is. We're going this way, okay. really well preserved as well everything all under covers which is the best thing you can do oh. Oh, wow. everywhere you look wow. 
<laughs> it's an absolute maze of amazement. So impressive. Oh, he's got the belt sander, just getting the floors level. <laughs> oh, and these will fire up at night, so you'll have six Bunsen burners in the pond. You have fire. Fire, yes, from here, from the gas, yes. Superb. Oh, the sun is coming out. That is beautiful. Cap home. Couple of cat. Look at it. <laughs> it's, a, it's an absolute paradise. Uh, and these are the rooms here. So you, you would walk out. Oh yeah, little steps out of each room into this pool. At the night time, at the water we have starlight. Lights, yeah, all light up. A million stars. A million stars from underwater. Wow. Okay. Oh man. I did not know I would be walking into somewhere like this today. Really didn't. Really did it. It's made my day. It's really cool of the fella to walk me around as well, uh, telling me about everything. But all the natural stone, all this beautiful granite. That is so nice just incorporated into the walls, all the tile and the decking. It's, it's every little thing is, hasn't been missed. The eye of the detail is perfect. It is, it's brilliant. Every look at this, look. It's, it's audacious, <laughs> to say the least. Jacuzzi? Ah, bubble massage jacuzzi. Oh wait, that would be, you'd lay there. Now, if you've ever been in a jacuzzi, it's, it's a really good massage. And where they're actually, you could lay down, uh, that, that is perfect because most jacuzzis are basically round and you have to sit in them. But laying down is much better for you. Really good. I like, I like everything about it and the mirrored ceiling as well. Is that mirrored? No. No, it's not mirrored. <laughs> I'm making stuff up now. There's, there's just the net there to stop. I just think the bird's coming in. Oh, wow, what a beautiful place to stay. Sit on your decking, cool swim, have a jacuzzi, and go and chill out. Oh man, brilliant. How, how do we get out? This, back this way? Okay. Fantastic. And how much roughly do you charge for a room? or expecting for uh, a double room for, for a man and a wife, say? Yeah, um, in October, the price of Kabada Street, we have the promotion in October, the opening. Yes. About 3,000 baht. Wow, uh, that, that will be, and October is the start of the high season. Yes. So, y y yes, you could do quite well right from the start. Just 3,000 baht a night, and they're, they're looking to do an opening promotion. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> Such a. Oh man. Such an enchanting place. This way. This way. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this little part up because, but I say this is going to run on to be a really long vlog, which is good in a way. Um, I've still got my mission to accomplish. Oh, oh, we can. Yes, after you, we can see. Oh, wow, look at these. How oh, imagine having a room in here. Oh, it's so cool. You'd feel special. You really would. And they are. No light, no proper. If you can see four post of bed, right to oh, the ceiling. Oh man, it's just beautiful. 
really really and look at the size of the tv as well so not only do you get all the traditional thailand you've got all the modern as well oh it's so aesthetically pleasing it really is everything about it like living in ancient thailand surrounded by nature cup and cap thank you thank you for showing me around cool okay hang in there and then i will be at my next spot very soon all righty i am now <laughs> i've been having a hard day today i have I'm on the side of a road, motorway. I got as far as Qatar, but you saw as far as I got. I went to Qatar, no, I could not find any coffee shops, any weed shops, any rasta bars at all that would talk to me about the current situation. But I just, so I come all the way back because it looks like we're gonna have a bit of rain at Rawai. So I come back via Batong. I just stopped at a little bar on the right where I bumped into a subscriber named Heidi who just bought me a couple of Leos. Thank you very much. I mean, what a wonderful little job I've got. How often do you get flagged down by a young lady willing to buy your Leos? I mean, <laughs> what kind of, it was awesome, isn't it? It was wonderful. So thank you, Heidi, for that. And I've still got a little bit of energy left to finish this vlog. Now, the guy at the weed shop down there, he wouldn't, no one want to come on camera and talk about it. But as far as legalizing cannabis, it is only medical, 0.2%. That's why no one will talk to me, even though they all still sell it. But what they tend to say as well, is, is like the old Bill ain't too bothered about nicking people that are smoking weed anymore, unless it's stinking up the street. So that is something, but it, it, it's definitely something that you, it is not legal. It is not, it's medical. <laughs> I wonder, oh, if this guy in here, Swaddy Cab. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll ask him first, because look, look, I'm on the main road from Batong to Kamala, and that's got OG weed, mushrooms, and brownies. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, the guy he told me he can sell it's okay, but he will not come on film. <laughs> hey, won't. And I'm disappointed because look, it's a wicked little bar right there. And that'd be really cool sitting there on the beach, smoking legally. But no one's prepared to do that on film. <laughs> the area is very grey, so take your own life into your hands and make your own decision up to you do what you like say what you like and smoke what you like be what you like do what you like <laughs> i do but i'm still not done yet no 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 i don't give up well i failed i failed and i failed three more bars rasta bars i went into and asked the same question None of them want to. They, they, none of them want to have the conversation on the camera, right? and the, the whole thing is is it, it, basically that medical marijuana is what it is. You know, you can apply for a license. Lots of paperwork, by the way, uh, and 0.2% THC is the legal limit of any marijuana. Uh, that that is that is what it is. Uh, however, all the bars are all happy to sell me proper skunk. And they've all got it. But unfortunately, because it hasn't been legalised, I wasn't uh, prepared to... I was really disappointed. <laughs> so I was hoping that I could actually be smoking cannabis quite legally somewhere and telling you how it's affected... Well, I wouldn't have to fucking tell you, would I? You'd pretty much be able to watch and see how it's affecting me. <laughs> Same as with Leo pretty much you know um, but I did one of the bars there as well I actually made the vlog a few weeks ago about uh, how Thailand had an, the, the, the cannabis vlog that I made I made it right outside the guy's bar and he's actually 
he recognized me and uh, he's watched my vlog on YouTube so that was really cool he was happy with that so that was cool that I got his premises on there and talked about it uh, but he didn't he, he, he didn't want me coming in because obviously it's a liability for him isn't it you know how, how all the rest of bars work they all sell marijuana but it's like everything else all the other bars are all, all the Western bars they all pay the police 5,000 baht a month to keep away so they can carry on uh, doing what they're doing so I didn't get to make that vlog uh, I suppose other vloggers or youtubers have I haven't watched them so I don't know what they're telling you the, the facts or what is I just going back to that rap rustic and blue I mean what a crap name uh, Rhapsody and blue I keep saying that because I think that's an old small faces album or something but that'd be a much better name for a bar rustic and blue I, I don't get it but uh, when I looked at it there, there were no THC percentages on any of that stuff so they might be selling all that stuff but it could for all I know it could be medical and, and that's the licenses it's all of a, a very very gray area and nobody's really prepared uh, to put themselves in the firing line you know so uh, another thing is <laughs> right I mean Fuck, I mean, come on, think about it. Legalising cannabis, in, is that a good thing? No, it's not, is it? I mean, the tyres, they're lazy as it is. They are, they're lazy, it's hot, hot as anything, right? They're all sitting undercover. They don't want to work, they're really lazy. So you can imagine them all getting stoned up. Now, when I, when I looked at that weed the other day, that said that would make things funny, euphoric. I looked at all of them. And none of them actually had on there what marijuana does. It, it, it does make you lethargic. It does make you tired. It does make you like, oh, I can't really be arsed. I just want to smoke weed and play the PlayStation. None of that weed had that on there. That had all the, that had all the vibrant well-being. That had all the bullshit, but it didn't actually have on there what actually it does uh, to you. And some of it, if it's really high in THC, you'll trip your arse off. So I didn't say that either, really trippy. Might not lose. Didn't have any of those things on there, what marijuana does. So it, it, I can't see Thailand really leak. I mean, I mean look, the tires are bad enough, but like I say, they're lazy enough as it is. They're all sitting there smoking dope. I tell you, they're, they're, they might all be sitting there peachy, but they're, they're not going to get any work done, are they? They're really not. And what about all the dope riders? They're all sitting there. Well, you've seen what I'm like when I ride my bike, right? Let me, I'll have to make a clip of me riding my bike when I've had a bifter, because it isn't quite the same. I'm like 10, 15 mile an hour. So, I mean, that might be quite a good thing. I might slow everybody down a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud of like, you know, the connotations of actually legalizing proper THC dope. It's like, I don't think Thailand would cope. It'd be like a disaster zone, man. Just my opinion, me running on. So today's vlog is me just fucking running on. Really glad I bumped into that hotel. Oh, and also, also I have, I've, um, um, I bumped into a really cool family in Batong today from Australia, cheers. And that with their two daughters who I had a photograph with, which I thought was awesome. So it just goes to show that vlogging the dead horse is a good family valued TV channel to be watching. That it is. It really is. It is. We're a good, good family entertainment show. That's made me quite happy knowing that. And for Heidi as well, like I said, young lady pulling me over on the side of the road to bum your beer. Today has been a very good day. A non-productive day, <laughs> which is about to get even more non-productive. So, cheers. Oh, so good. So good. So, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. And then next... And until next time, au revoir.